Being a participant in Spanko communities has improved my life. I'm very young, so I'm very lucky to have entered this community young. I've only been a part of this community for like three, almost four years, not very long, especially with the pandemic that <laughs> kind of screwed things up a bit. But I will say, because of this community, I have never felt more like myself. The ability to have so many people who understand you that you can just let down all of your guards and feel completely safe and seen in a way that I never have up until like the last five years is insane. And then when I think about that, and I think about like being lucky enough to also live with people who share this fetish, who get it, who see me, and I can just like walk around and be me and not have to hide anything after the billion roommates I've had up to this point. But it's, it is a special thing. It cannot, it's unmatched. And I wouldn't change anything in the world. So being a part of the spanking community has changed my life for the better in more ways than one. I could talk about it forever, but I want other people to speak. So yes, <laughs> this is why I'm on Strongly Agree. Um, I am also newer to the community and also on the younger side. I've only been in for also about three years. Um, but I will say before I joined the community, I thought that I was just like asexual because I couldn't figure out, or I thought I just, I couldn't figure out anything. And as soon as I got into this community, I was like, all of these things that I've been doing my entire life and like the way that I've been thinking about things and the way that I've been approaching relationships. And now I'm surrounded by other people who are also like that when I thought that all of my friends were just like faster than me, I guess. I thought I was a late bloomer. Um, and as soon as I joined this community and I learned that other people had similar experiences to me, I just felt so relaxed and I felt like I could finally be myself and I get to learn more about myself and I don't like feel judged while I'm learning about myself because everyone's still learning about themselves. In, in my country, I didn't have this Spanko community to participate. So I was in the BDSM scene very young, like with 18 years. And just now with 36 years, I found a Spanko community to participate. And is I can't des describe how amazing and important is this feeling of belonging. This is what the most important part of being with people with the same orientation that you have. So it's great. It's just great. Uh, if I hadn't gotten involved online in the spanking community, um, I would never have had the courage to um, talk about my fetish with people in the BDSM community, which happened to be the only place I found to, to found people to play with initially in Australia. So um, yeah, being part of the KOL community changed my life immensely. <laughs> like I had never spoken to a spanko before I'd spoken to Jillian, in fact, and then my first uh, Spankle friends were on KOL. So uh, yeah, it's just been nine day. It's been amazing. So being part of the Spanko community has been amazing. And previously I was in the BDSM community, I'm still am, but like had started in the BDSM community. And one of the like really cool things about the Spanko community is all of the shared startles that we have. Mm -hmm. And like, People talk about in the BDSM community, like, you know, a thing when you like first realize that you were into kink, um, but not the like series of consistent startles that people talk about in the Spanko community. There was one specific startle I remember uh, reading when I was a kid in elementary school, and it was about a girl who it thinks she's gonna get punished and so she runs into um, the laundry room and like puts a towel in her pants to you know <laughs> soften the blow and I couldn't I didn't remember any other details about this book nothing that was the only thing I remembered and with one of my friends from KOL we started talking about it and she's like oh yeah wait I remember that too but I don't remember this detail and then here here and then we like slowly pieced together the story and I came up with the title of the book like that shared experience is insane, that it, it's such a crazy, unique experience. So yes, I, I am very glad I joined the Spanko community. The Spanko scene is more body positive than mainstream society.
I remember going to my first party and I was so scared because my world was turning upside down and I made my vanilla best friend fly across the country to the other coast to go with me, which is so weird thinking about it. <laughs> she was down, she's the best person in my life. Anyway, I remember like being too afraid to go in and then we went in and then I remember like just chilling in the background, not wanting to like engage because I was like so scared. And she's like in my ear the whole time, like you gotta do it, you'll be upset with yourself if you don't like do something. And then I remember going out and almost like crying to her out by the car, like I think the second day, saying I'm so afraid to play because I don't think people will want to play with me because of my weight. I don't think that I'll be desired. I don't think that it'll go over well. I think that they'll be judging me. It was just, and she was like, oh, that breaks my heart. And we were like, we're commiserating. And then I remember <laughs> Jillian Keenan <laughs> convincing me to play. I actually convinced her to let me be drunk. Damn, maybe be cool. Because I was so nervous. She was like, if you feel confident. And she walked up two flights of stairs to grab me, to take me into a bedroom. And it was like the most glorious thing and my weight didn't even cross my mind. So while I'm sure that there are people who have you know, felt the pressures of body image in the community as a whole, KOL has never made me feel um, badly about my body, which has been so wonderful considering like day to day in normal life, you know, there's always pressure, so. As someone who looks like a goth caveman <laughs> and clearly overweight, I've been someone who has struggled a lot with, in general, like even socializing. And when it comes to my own sexuality, it's been, it's been a lot more like nerve wracking for myself. That's something positive that I can say about the spanking scene ever since I joined full time, that I don't feel that being like a weight over my shoulders anymore. Uh, one of the most wonderful memories that I have is the first time I met a really dear friend of mine where I was incredibly nervous. I was like struggling a lot to uh, really like think like, okay, this is someone I know online. This is someone that I haven't seen in person outside of like a Zoom call. And yeah, what if I, I'm too overweight, I'm too ugly, I'm too whatever to like, I don't know, fit in. And one of the very first things that she said to me was he, she just walked over to me and whispered in my ear like, hey, uh, do you think we're gonna play tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and it made me feel incredibly accepted because it was something I struggled a lot with and I was so nervous about and it just went away. And when I've gone to parties, I've played with so many people with different body types, with different backgrounds, with everything that I could have never imagined. And it's been incredibly welcoming. However, the reason why I'm sta standing here and slightly agree and not all the way over there, because that's my personal experience once again. And I have seen the exact opposite happen multiple times at parties, uh, with friends, with other uh, members of the scene that have generally struggle to connect with other spankos because of their body type, because of their backgrounds, because of a lot of different factors. If I was just saying about our group, I would be there because I think this, we are open and all the bodies are, are beautiful and perfect. But when I entered the scene, I was very young. I was like very skinny. I always feel like I have more people interested on me, but for the wrong reasons, you know? I'm, so what I think in, interesting about this, this group that is the Spanko scene that I know, different from the BAD scene that I know from the past, um, I think people look more for the right reasons. Like, this is the kind of bratty, bread that I like. This is the kind of, top that I like. And 
I think this is the the right looking, and I think we are in the way to be like involved in not just this community, more acceptable and more open to all the difference of behaviors and bodies and way of being. I just wanted to bring up things that I have heard from just other people in the general like kink community um, about like sometimes having trouble finding play partners when they're larger, especially for like rope bottoms, for example. Um, also for when you need, uh, would you, when you want to do uh, specific role plays and you need different types of um, clothing for that, it is sometimes harder to find clothing in the size that you need. Um, and I think the kink community in general could do better with that. In kink media, BDSM and Spanko media, it would be very nice to see more representation of different body sizes and different body types, also different disabilities. I have friends that are in the community and they're, they're in wheelchairs, they have a trach tube, and to see them represented in media would be amazing. And yes. Yeah, like I, I would love to see more disability and body positivity and race representation in the media that the kink community creates. I feel like a, how a lot of us end up exposed to this community before we hop into it, it is through media. It is through what we see. And I will just say it like, I'm not gonna say how old, but I've been looking at stuff for a long time, longer than I should have been. And it has always been a very stereotypical type. And there's not enough representation. And though I am very lucky to have been to parties and different places where people have been so open and welcoming of different body sizes, types, and I love that. I've had that experience, but I am a thousand percent sure that there are people who haven't. And I know for myself, like just by seeing the media and even reading the media, because I'm very much into <laughs> Veronica, just gonna put it out there, but like everybody is, for the most part, it's like, petite or a certain race type, or it's very specific. And I feel like it can be diversified very broadly because I feel like if that's how you're being introduced to it, mm -hmm. then you feel like, oh, will I be desired? Will anybody want to play with me? How can, if this is all I'm exposed to, to expect somebody else to want that of me? So definitely, and I'm, I'm sure this is up to whoever goes out and creates this content, like that would be helpful. And it's like, I'm grateful that, at least in my personal experiences, the things I've been able to explore have not been like what I've seen. And I think that is amazing. But it does say a lot that, that we're still kind of recycling, putting out the same stuff. And that should change, because if in real time it's being changed, we should change what we look at. Mm -hmm.